Hi everyone. I want to start by showing you the video from, or the painting from yesterday's video. Um, it's looking yellow to you, but it's really white. Um, I don't know why it's looking yellow. There we go. So it is super cool. I really, really love it. It is God. So, um, now nah, hold on. <sighs> Keep looking at it while I get the step stool. I thought I could get up there using the chair I was just standing on, but I cannot. This is the part I do not like about my new setup, is that it is really hard to set it up it's so far away. I hope that's good. Let's move my painting a little. There. All right. And uh, now I gotta carefully get down. Okay. So I am back to Payne's Gray again today because it is my newest addiction. I've gone through a magenta addiction. I've gone through Prussian blue addiction. Um, I have been through Naples yellow addiction. Um, and those are pretty much the big ones. And now it's um, Payne's gray. So this is what I've been using. The Liquitex Basic, which is almost gone. So hopefully I have enough for this 10 by 20. Um, I mixed in water, Floetrol, and I didn't have enough Floetrol, so I did actually, I have a little bit of um, uh, Liquitex pouring medium, so I added a little bit of that. I had some of that. And the colors I'm using are Art Artist Loft Aqua Green, Process Cyan by Grumbacher, and Grumbacher Deep Violet, and I'm kind of going to do that open cup thingy, so I will be adding some white And this is a piece of MDF. So here you can see the difference because this is just uh, ivory black. So it's, it's quite blue actually compared to it. So it is Saturday and I've had a really good day. Got my hair cut, a really, really good haircut. And then went to this art winter art, not craft fair, but the um, home, the uh, local artisans, I guess would be a good way to put it, which you get me into those places and I always love supporting um, local artists because I am one. And so I get to like buying all this stuff. So I bought Bought some earrings, even though I don't wear them, but they were super cool. And so then I bought some for my daughter, and then it turns out that her holes have closed, so she won't be wearing those, but I guess I'll wear, I'll wear all of them. <laughs> and then I had, they've got a, there was a vegan uh, hot dog truck, so my mom had her first vegan and they're homemade and they're like gourmet. So, I mean, it had, I mean, it took like 20 minutes to make. So it's not like a quick little hot dog. Um, and right next to that was a donut food truck. So I, while I was waiting for my hot dog, I had an apple crisp donut, which was like a donut stuffed with apple crisp and then had the, um, the, uh, what you call it, you know, the topping, the oatmeal topping on the donut. Oh my gosh. So, and that was like half the size of my head. So I, that is my appetizer. And then right after I bought that, 
she put all of her um, just regular apple fritters, buy one, get one free. So of course, I then had to get two more apple fritters. <laughs> and those are my dessert after my donut appetizer and hot dogs. So yeah, I, I, I should say I've been quite quite low energy since all that sugar, but <laughs> we had a really good time. And I bought my dog, there's there's these local people that, um, they do, uh, there's like a piece of something. They do dog collars and they're at every um, like craft art thing in Omaha and probably elsewhere. They're really popular. And so I got, I was going to get Sophie a sparkly one. Um, okay, Steve. <laughs> oh my God. A sparkly one. But I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to see it. But then I was talking to the guy about how it was going to be the dog's Hanukkah gift. And then he showed me he had Hanukkah collars. So then I had to buy the dog a Hanukkah collar. And I've already gotten her a bunch of stuff from BarkBox. So she's pretty much the only one I love. So I'm wondering if that's what's happening to me as I'm becoming an empty nester. If my dog is now just going to get all of my love, attention, and money. But then we were playing and she jumped up and scratched me and you probably can't see it because I can't bend over enough, but I now have a slice. Well, it was down my cheek, but that has faded. I'm going to start with some blue. Um, and, uh, but now I have a slice down my um, top lip, which is just dandy hurts like hell, and I put Neosporin on it. Well, I don't know when the last time you ate Neosporin was, but man, it does not taste good. Yeah, it, it, it never occurred to me the taste factor. Um, I, I may put a little bit of white in there. So I've been like snacking on Neosporin on my lip. It's just delightful. And uh, so then I'm like screaming and the dog's like, what? I didn't do anything. But she did and it hurt. At least the marks on my cheek have faded. Because those, those were quite awkward looking. It looked like I had literally been in a cat fight. White back up here. Now I'm just gonna kind of do where I swirl it around. This, but I needed some up here.
torch and see what happens. So these are what I don't want. So let's see if I can. Actually, it appears now I'm getting more of the Payne's Gray into it. Before, I was just kind of scooting among the top. So this time around, I am getting more of it. I like how those are looking like whispers. <clears throat> looking for low spots. stuff with some of the Payne's Gray. I think I kind of like it better than working with um, black because it's dark but it's got a softer look to it. So that, <clears throat> look at how bright the white got. The white is now like jumping out and you can see the aqua is as well. Kind of like having the focus draws to the middle. I'm trying to see if I like it from all angles.
So it looks really nice. So thank you so much for watching and of course I'll catch you next time. Bye.